the lesson 2 on relation. In this chapter, we will cover road signs, road marking, traffic control at intersection, speed limit, keyway to pedestrian, turning, roundabout, changing lane and overtaking, as well as provision in parking. So the objective of this lesson is to learn about the different type of road sign, road marking and control at intersection, as well as correct method applied in roundabout and junction and provisions in parking. So let's understand what are the road signs. The road signs are usually a sign giving information or instruction to road user. The road sign provide visual information to help control and regulate the flow of traffic and help to keep you and the other road users safe. This is very important in Dubai as road network are becoming more complex, traffic volume are increasing day by day and the number of visitors to Dubai who are unfamiliar with the road in increasing each year. The road sign are placed on over or next to a public road where they are fulfill an important need, command attention, provide a clear and simple message or provide sufficient time for road user to respond appropriately. So road sign provide information to road user in three different ways. A. As a regulation or road law which must be obeyed by law. As a warning sign or as a guide. Okay, so let's talk about regulatory sign. Regulatory signs are used to control the action of road user. They tell you what you must or must not do. Failure to obey a sign is an offense. The type of regulatory signs are control sign which shows right of way priority or direction to the travel. Then we have mandatory sign indicates which indicates action that must be taken. The next one is prohibitory sign which means action or objects which are prohibited. Parking control sign. These signs regulate parking and stopping. Then the last but not the least we have freeway control sign which indicate road classified as a freeway. So if you are not following any of this sign it means you are breaking the law. The next category of the sign is control sign. Control sign are used to assign right of way priority or direction of travel. Okay so you see this sign it means you must give way to pedestrian. This sign means you must give way. This means you cannot enter to this road. If you see the stop line you must stop. Mandatory signs are used to indicate to road user action which they must take. Here are some example of control sign. So usually mandatory signs are with the blue background and white marking on the top. These are used to indicate to road user action that must not be taken or which they are prohibited. Okay you can see some of the example usually prohibited signs are with red circle and a uh, red cross on that. Parking control signs are used to control and regulate stopping and parking. So here are example of uh, parking sign. You see this sign means this parking is reserved for handicapped people. Freeway control signs are used to indicate to road user which roads are classified. Of a freeway sign cell means that except in case of emergency, no person cell operate a non-motorized vehicle on or near a freeway, walk on foot or near the freeway, stop or reverse your vehicle, drive at a speed unsafe for the lane you are traveling in, stop, park or drive on a shoulder, center divider or roadside area. Speed less than 60 km is prohibited in freeway. End of freeway signs move all of our warning signs are usually placed to alert road user about the potential hazard condition. Sometimes these hazards are hidden. Again warning signs are divided into three groups. The first one is advanced warning sign. The second one is hazard marker sign. The third one is diagrammatic warning sign. Okay, these are a few examples of advanced warning signs. Basically, advanced warning signs alert you what is going to happen next. So, if you see the few examples of hazard marker signs, 
diagrammatic warning signs are used where the triangular advance warning sign does not allow enough room for a picture or are not big enough to draw attention to the hazard ahead. They are usually on high speed road and fall into the following general category. First one is traffic movement is affected by an obstruction, an addition lane is added, the use of lane is regulated, lane merger, etc. Below are the few examples for the same. The next one is guide sign. Guide sign provide direction that they usually include information about route number, street name, and destination and are generally in both Arabic and English. These signs enable driver to find their destination, avoid confusing driver with too much information, present driver with predictable information safely. The color is located on national routes and indicates the Emirates route emblem. Green, located on local Dubai routes and in include the Dubai route emblem. White background, these shows local points, road or destination. Brown, provides additional information including symbol to describe the destination emblem used in guide sign you see this blue color eagle with route number it is usually used in highways so it means emirates route e44 that's the number now d and are identified by the emblem of a fourth the letter d and a two or three digit number so basically the green background emblem are used inside Dubai and uh, the blue color is for the national highways. Guide signs. Trailblazing guide sign have symbol on them and are placed along a route to guide and to reassure driver that are, they are on the correct road to reach their required destination. This is known as trailblazing action sign. The sign sh shown below is an example of an advanced guide sign indicating the route emblem, trailblazing symbol and direction information. The sign below here. This sign are example of exit direction. Sign to guide driver on the proper lane to take prior to the exit. The white exit pane means that particular lane is to be dropped. This. And is moving away from the main line carriageway. Hence, these road marking help guide you, your travel. So road marking provide visual information to road user to help control and regulate the traffic flow. As with the road signs, road marking help to keep you and other road users safe. They are basically of three types. First one is regulatory. These road marking must be obeyed by the law. The second one is bar warning. These road marking should be observed appropriately as they give you warning about the upcoming. Okay, so let's talk about regulatory road marking. These road marking tell you what action you can take or cannot take. All road user must follow this regulation. If you're not doing so, you are breaking the law. So let's talk about this yellow solid line. If you see this yellow solid line, you cannot overtake or you cannot take a U-turn. Now, the box junction is usually in the large intersection and you should never ever block this. So if you see a car is stopped in the junction, you should wait even if the signal is green in these lanes must travel. So if you want to go left, you should be in either of these two lanes. You cannot turn left from the right lane. If you see a lane like this, this means this is a priority lane for public transport buses and taxi only. Okay, so let's do a quick. The right answer is control sign. If you assumed prohibitory, that's the wrong answer, and the mandatory signs is the wrong answer. Which of these signs warn of pedestrian crossing ahead? Try guessing. The right answer is the first one. With exit direction sign, the white exit panel means you have three options. So the first one is this lane and will end ahead. That's wrong. The second one is this lane moves away from the main carriageway. And the third one is this lane run parallel with the main carriageway. So the right answer is second one. This lanes move away from the main carriageway. Traffic control at intersections. A red signal means you must stop. Do not enter the intersection. 
a yellow signal means almost the same as red you must stop if safe to do so whereas a green signal means you may proceed if safe to do so speed limit now whenever you cross a, a signal or a, a junction you will always find a speed limit sign and these signs usually tell you the maximum and in some cases the minimum speed you can drive when driving condition is good you must choose what is safest space within the limit and the driving condition you are faced with current dubai rule for speed limits are as follow unless you see a sign that tell you otherwise in parking area you are supposed to drive at 25 km per hour our urban single carriageway is 40 km urban dual carriageway is at 60 km or 80 km as per sign rural road are at 100 km per hour whereas freeway is at 120 km per hour for light vehicle 80 km for heavy vehicle and the minimum speed in the freeway is 60 your speed should not go down than 60 km per hour now if you see a sign like this which is called posted speed limit on the road these speed limits or the signs overrule any sign on the road if you see a uh, sign 60 here uh, sorry 80 here and 120 on the road you still need to maintain a speed of 80 give way to pedestrian people living in dubai come from all corner of the world some pedestrian may actually look at the wrong direction when crossing the road this might be because they used to car coming from a right side of the road instead of the left side the rate of pedestrian fatalities in dubai is high traffic pedestrian traffic signal as a road user pedestrian must obey the pedestrian traffic signal and as a driver you need to watch out if pedestrian do not obey the traffic signal be careful of pedestrian who try to beat the traffic signal and cross when it is not safe for them to do so turn you need to plan turning plan your turn earlier decide which lane you need to be in well in advance you must give the sign you see if you see this white solid line it means you must stop and give away so let's do a knowledge check once again this is the first question just before you enter an intersection the traffic signal turned red what should you do the answer is you must stop the second question is you are about to make a u-turn you must have a clear view of traffic on the road the option are three ahead of you only and behind you only the second option and the third one is both of the above the right answer is both of the above what does this sign means it means vehicle must stop and give way in roundabout good steering control correct speed indicator and mirror are very important so you do not confuse other driver about where you are intention to travel changing and overtaking the road you are drive on will vary you may drive on a two way road or at a time you will drive on a multiple lane freeway where there are number of lane on a traffic ahead in the same direction when you are driving on this road there will be a times when you want to do a lane change for example to exit from a freeway or to overtake a slow moving vehicle the important rule is you should make sure that there is a sufficient space in front of you to see whenever you intend to overtake a vehicle changing lane to change lane you need to plan what you are going to do well ahead check the position of vehicle ahead behind to your side signal early as this warned other driver and allow them to plan what they are they need to do be aware that the driver in the vehicle in front of you may signal to change lane at the same time in this case you should wait until the driver in the front complete his move to another lane when you have checked that it is safe to change lane make sure you check your mirror signal to right or left giving sufficient warning to other driver of your intention check your mirror again check your blind spot by doing a head check to the right or to the left whichever side you are going control your speed as you may need to maintain increase or decrease your speed depending on the traffic condition once you are completely in the new lane remember to check your mirror again and cancel your indicator 
overtaking on a two way road overtaking on a two way road is very similar to the lane change except it is more dangerous because you will need to drive on the wrong side of the road for a quite a long time signal to the right or left giving sufficient warning to other driver of your intention check your mirror again vehicle traveling in opposite direction are now directly ahead of you and are moving in a very quick speed toward you it is not safe to overtake on bends at junction or on a slope so before you overtake ask yourself do i really need to do a overtake will it make a difference to my journey am i permitted by law to overtake will my overtaking cause other traffic to alter speed of position is it safe there are two part to overtaking pulling out on the other side of the road moving back onto the correct side of the road overtaking important rule you must not overtake at the following places where the road is not clearly visible when the movement of traffic in the opposite direction doesn't allow you to proceed safely at intersection and roundabout or when vehicle stop due to movement of traffic obstruction or due to a stop sign on curve or on hills slippery road next to pedestrian crossing and road with solid long line in place where the signs forbid driving drivers to overtake now let's talk about parking as a driver you will need to park your car this may be in your own driveway outside your workplace or in a shopping center or at your place of workship parking is not as easy as it seems you may need to park your car in a quiet residential street or on a heavy congested road you must obey parking sign and road marking in that area that tell you how to park your car and how long you can stay there this will help you to prevent you from being a hazard to others road user or getting parking fine important rule a person must not cause a hazard to any person or vehicle by opening a door of a vehicle or leaving a door of a vehicle open before you park ask yourself have i chosen a safe and legal place to park can i park my car safely without blocking other traffic or road user do i have a clear view of my traffic coming from behind as well as the traffic traveling alongside the left of your vehicle can i be seen by other driver stopping and parking rule you must not park a vehicle at a place where there is no permission to park at a pedestrian crossing on the footpath or bridge or in a tunnel never park your car next to a curb or on a hill next to a solid center line which cannot be crossed that's the end of the lecture 2 on rta theory classes if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching